boys 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 welcome to another video a new video and it's gonna be a short one it's a quick update so if you haven't caught up with what's been happening with my behavior score or behavior score system what is the new behavior score system please go and watch my previous video i explain in detail what the behavior score system is what my experience has been what are the important issues that is absolutely ruining matchmaking and on top of that what are my suggestions to improve it all right let's continue with this video so this video is an update i didn't notice that there was an update but there's one way that i did notice but before i tell you what that was let me tell you something what happened since then since uh, the last video i did not play dota for a bit the next day when i did play it was raining really hard i didn't notice and then abandonment happened so when the next summary generated after 15 games i played like five games of low priority you have to win them right and maybe three games i lost so five wins and three loss but then actually it wasn't five wins it was four wins four wins three loss and when i was about to go another one what happens my internet gets unstable and boom another abandon so of course when you have two abandons your behavior score cannot raise from one right so i already got one more summary which was one right when i got the first abandon but when i started play second i played seven games won five lost two and then and then i played a few turbo games and i think two all big games so i played a lot of games in single draft which means in single draft if you guys don't know in low priority you cannot report anyone when you cannot report anyone it means that your behavior score will not fall down which is great because behavior score was falling down insanely because of the reportings without them being fair without actual legit reason based reports people were reporting everyone because everyone had unlimited remote reports and it was a disaster it was really bad it was terrible but you know what happened because i played like seven games in single draft so seven games out of the 15 games that you need for a conduct summary to generate i couldn't be reported because i've been low low prior i play single draft games do you get the do you get my point then the rest of the games i played in turbo a mix of turbo and opic and then when my summary generated guess what happened my behavior score did not stay at one can you believe that my behavior score was 400 something which is massive because i had completely lost hope that the system is incredibly terrible and busted and you cannot raise behavior score regardless of your behave and maybe you cannot but due to half of the games being in single draft i was not being reported so this might be controversial but if you have one behavior score like literally one digit like me the best way to do is get an abandon and don't try too hard to win because if you do then well you won't have enough games have at least seven games of low prior and it won't be hard because if you abandon a game while your behavior score is at one you will get a few hours matchmaking ban and then you will have to play five low priority games not only play but you have to win so just play casually just fuck around right uh mess around and just have fun try fun bill or whatever up to you this is the best and honest edition just for the community and i could keep that information to myself but it worked for me so i'm letting you know but it's only for the people who have one behavior score 
if you have more than thousand don't do this please don't do this don't ruin game on purpose but because the system works in this way that there's only one way you can do it is if your behavior score is one you have to abandon one game you have to abandon one game and you will get five low prior and then you can recover your score even a few hundred is pretty big from that you can eventually gain if you're if you if that's a possibility if you're able to so then what happened after i got 400 behavior score at the end of that remember i played seven games of low priority i won five lost two rest of the games were turbo and all pick so i got 400 behavior score from one and i did not check the complete stats how many times i was reported but i know half of the games i couldn't be reported almost half of, half of the games i couldn't be reported so i don't really have to go and check and confirm it is confirmed but rest of the games i try to be as positive as i can even to the people that messed up i commended them at the end of the game and right now the state of commendation is if somebody commends you it means that they did not report you if you guys don't know how reporting commendation works if you report them you cannot commend them if you report someone you cannot commend them and if you commend them you cannot report them you get it so when someone comments you you should commend them back because it means that they did not abuse the report system they did not report you that's what i did i actually commended the people who were pinging my abilities some of them had enough higher behavior score that they could spam the ping all the game but at the end of the game one of the guy was playing Pudge and he was pinging me in the game. And he was saying, well played whenever I died and when I will respawn. He was using those notifications to try to be toxic and try to tilt me. But I, I remain cool. Okay. This is very important, guys. You may get a chance to recover one time. Otherwise, you may never get a chance. I mean, there's always a chance, but why would you suffer more in in low behavior score with terrible players and terrible people right you need to increase that that should be the motivation the controversial suggestion and trick or whatever you would like to call it i only tell you because i care about your behavior score and i want you to grow like i do or i'm trying to right because most of my abandons the issue that i have such a low behavior score in the first place is because of abandons it wasn't due to huge amount of reports before the new patch came after the new patch when everyone had infinite reports people were abusing it and that's why i tanked down i did not abandon a single game i did not grief most games and it was a disaster we already talked about it you can watch the video so now my behavior score is guys i'm gonna show you there you go there you have it 2326 that's a great behavior score that's a great start from one to two thousand something our goal is to be 10k or above right so how did i get 2000 behavior score well turns out they released an update and here they mention it and once you click on it it updates your uh it brings down the summary of your conduct right and they say We have addressed an issue where some reports were adversely affecting players' behavior score, even if the report had no corroborating evidence. We have fixed the underlying issue and have retroactively updated your behavior and communication scores to re reflect the change. An issue where some reports were adversely affecting player behavior score, even if the report had no cor cor corroborating evidence. That is all that is all we asked for. That is all I asked for. That if there's people are reporting, either limit the amount of reports. I still think that unlimited reports is kind of silly. It is silly. But if reports were like people were having their conduct summary bad and their behavior score being deducted because of false reports, of course that is really bad. And I'm glad that they fixed it. I'm not sure if they have to do it every few days, every few weeks, and people will still fall because 
the real thing is when i will stream or play the game and i will update you the next time look forward to that if you haven't subscribed you should because it is really interesting to see if it goes up or down because that would be the evidence that we need that if the system works or not from my personal experience because as i was telling you i did not report anyone that's one more thing that i did i did not report anyone even the griefers because of course at one behavior score do i expect anyone to play properly or behave properly i didn't that was the best part i did not expect them to play properly or behave better but they were okay they were decent in most games some were being toxic like that pudge but do you know what that pudge did after the game he commended me i for sure thought that he would report me so i was hesitant to commend me but one one guy in the chat also said when i was live streaming that you should just commend everyone even the enemies even the toxic players i mean it kind of it kind of makes me feel bad to do that because do you know that the new command or like feature what it means it means that you will be matched up with those guys again but the thing is guys as i'm giving you tips how to recover behavior score as i am recovering it even a little bit i will let, let you know that how i did it so it can help you if you're interested in playing dota because i heard and read that many people quit dota but if you want to give one more try just you know i'm showing you you can choose to follow if you'd like to right so what what you're going to do is just look at my name ultra try hard pma player ever nobody tops me you have to be in that mindset telling shit players how shit they are will not help and I, i'm not going to be like one of those you know people on the reddit who are like boasting about their 10k behavior score and how positive they are and calling others assholes and thinking that you know they're they're the positive ones even though that is like toxic positivity or whatever that is i don't know what that is passive aggressiveness or tilting others to behave in a certain way or triggering them until they behave a certain way like for example they, they may have a good behavior score but they take someone's last hit to tilt them so once they're tilted they start feeding and once they feed they get behavior score down they get reported and they get overwatched anyways it's an in-depth argument and that's something entirely else let's get back to the point so they have refunded a lot of behavior score points for the reports that had not enough evidence but still behavior scores were deducted i personally think it should have reached 3000 3326 because i was around dad area um before there was a huge bombardment of unfair unjustified reports from everyone and anyone with zero abandons that i did or behavior in a gameplay that would warrant even a single report let alone 40 reports in 15 fucking games i couldn't believe that shit anyways guys as i'm telling you right now it's 2326 by the way your communication score cannot get higher than behavior score remember that so how high your behavior score your communication score would be the same most probably it cannot exceed higher than your behavior score because your behavior is the most important and then com comes communication so i'm excited that after 3000 3000 i can ping i guess and i can get access to rank as well i'm not too far away we can reach there so i would highly suggest you guys if you've even uninstalled and if you'd like to you know join this journey with me just install dora again give it a go give it a try it is a very controversial system for most players for f because it is just so um so strict and so harsh and i think such a system was needed to increase the quality of the games see i never complain about the punishments if you see my other video it was a long rant but i did not once say oh this is too unfair because this is all okay but the way your behavior score is falling down is unfair or communication score both of these scores falling down that was unfair and that was because of the abusing of the reports but nobody wanted to accept that especially especially on dota 2's reddit if you guys go there it is a mess people are people are like oh the toxic people are complaining 
because there's a certain format of their posts certain kind of people make certain kind of posts and it is fucking annoying it's like when cheaters get banned they post oh cheaters are crying what a relief smurfers get banned oh smurfers are crying what a relief now they fail to realize that well once there are once you see an influx of posts yes there are many cheaters who are getting banned who actually cheat but they, they're going to pretend that they were not cheating but do you think that any system in this world exists in this reality exists that is perfect the answer is no so there there has to be false positive there has to be people who actually did not cheat but by the system they were they were um convicted as cheaters and they got punished for no reason and they lost their account. Of course, they're going to make a post and try to communicate with the developers or just get attention or sympathy or empathy, at least, if even if not sympathy. Of course, you cannot sympathize with them, but at least empathy. But there's the lack of empathy the people have who claim to be positive at 10k behavior score is absolutely disgusting. And I don't want to rant, rant about that. But I'm just telling you that when once people suffer, they're going to raise their voice. They're going to pr protest. And those posts were a protest and also showing the love for the game if they got low behavior score or banned they, they would have just stopped playing that's the easiest way to do it i should have done that even many people were suggesting but i didn't do it because i liked the game i wanted to play it was really unfair what happened yeah so again with the smurfers as well there has to be some cases where you actually have siblings play your your kids are playing you, you went for job or work or business or whatever you do in the daytime right and your kids are home after school they had their uh, breakfast oh sorry lunch and then they're like i'm going to play some dota or whatever the game they have fortnite or whatever i don't know valorant i guess and they're just on the computer and then they see their dad playing and they're like what's that game and dad is like i play dota this is dota and then he introduces to them because i think that some parents would not introduce their kids to dota because how addicting it can be it's not really a healthiest uh pastime i guess especially how toxic it usually is but let's just imagine right so they start playing dota and then you start teaching them as soon as they unlock the ability to play rank or something else or just playing uh well whatever i guess rank because i i was going to say unranked but you can still play unranked even you your one beaver score but of course the quality of the games would be really bad um but your account gets banned never mind it's not the behavior score i was thinking about the smurfs Kids have their separate account and it gets banned. You you have co cousins over and they don't have a computer. The computer's broke and you know they're they're playing the game uh, on on your computer on their account and then you know it gets flagged. Your account gets flagged. Their account gets flagged. You know, like any relationship you have with someone, right? Your significant other, your girlfriend, whatever, right? Like you're teaching your grandfather how to play a fucking Dota. And, you know, he gets flagged, you get flagged, and both of your accounts get banned. I'm just giving you examples, hypotheticals, right? Because there are people, there will always be people, and maybe they did not make any posts, right? But there will always be, other on the other end of the things, there will always be people who are making fun of those kind of posts. And similarly, here, some people deserve that shitty behavior score, definitely. But of course, who's the judge of that? The 10k behavior score assholes with no empathy, or what? I'm not sure. And again, in their argument, they would be like, why would be, why would I empathize with someone or sympathize for someone who is ruining games? Because their mindset is, if you're not 10k behavior score, you're definitely ruining games. They don't realize that not being 10k actually shows you're a human. Above 10k, it's almost like you're an NPC. You have certain protocols, you do that, you never navigate from there, you never have disagreements with your teammates. You never communicate on the chat. You just mute everyone and play the game. Yes, you can play that and even have not 10k, not 12k, 20k behavior score. But nobody cares about that. I don't. I think if you have a somewhat respectable score, like around 8k or 7k, but you're fun to play with, you communicate with the team, you can sometimes have disagreement with your teammates, and you do communicate those disagreements without being an asshole, of course. 
That that that's really important though. Because sometimes you don't realize how upset you can get. Um when you're explaining your point, especially when you're in the right and they're on the wrong. Or at least that you, you think that way. So you do get upset, and that's normal, I guess. But yeah. It's a whole another thing. I I went on a tangent. I went on a rant again. Um, so let's wrap it up. So you guys have to be PMA. You guys have to be positive. Even if they report you. And yeah. So what I was saying. Let me end it first. That there were definitely people who were complaining. Who were toxic. And were hanging around like 3000 or something and then they fell even more down because earlier if your reports are done and there's a toxic play in your team right how are you going to report them there, there was no way but now there's a way and people use the reports and action happened and a lot of action happened and some of the action happened against the wrong people i never said that i'm a 10k behavior score player Right now, even when I'm giving you an example, the kind of teammate I want in my team is not a 10k, 12k, toxic, positive player, right? I want to play with 8k or 7k behavior player who is, who is like an actual legit human being who have emotions. He tries to control it. Sometimes he can, you know, leak. There, there can be cracks because he's a human. Human after all. You should listen to that song. Um, and... He works and he's funny and he's making jokes right because some people get offended so he's like at 8k and 7k because he's having fun but of course not a lot of people here play dota and make jokes and you know i'm just giving you hypotheticals there can be people like that i have met them but of course not every day you met those people most people are just saying uh curse words and their behavior score at that behavior score and their just behavior score is going down and down um but again, uh, I just I just keep going on tangents. I I really had no sleep. I had, should have just rest. But this was really huge, and I I was really excited to tell you guys right now, right away, because when that thing happened, uh, I also made a video as soon as possible after experiencing all of it. I didn't make a video as soon as I got one conduct summary that was low. Three three conduct summary forty five games 45 games of turbo most of them were server like 40 games or 30 games turbo so yeah after that i made that video actually a few of them were ranked as well when i had access to rank over 3000 viewers score so the real thing is that if it falls down below this i will not change my behavior until i see the result at least until i uh, i see the result will it go above 3000 or will it roll back if it rolls back it means the system is bugged as hell it still is and they would have to roll these updates over and over again regularly like this unless they fix the fundamental problems with the system the systematic problems the coding or whatever it is the ai and the machine learning um so yeah but dota has spaghetti code so i don't know that's what i've heard whatever that means it's just a mess spaghetti is a mess um also the dota is crashing a lot that's one of the things it never crashed and like but when it's never it crashed like one person or less than one person in like many many years now since they updated the graphical thing the rendering thing it's crashing a little bit more so i'm excited to play rank guys again and also reaching 3k again that's that's pretty cool i'm excited about that so i hope guys i i don't want a game to fail why would I want that? Why would I want the game that I play all the time to fail? I don't get it. Please tell me. Um, but yeah, it's also, uh, you know, kind of, kind of, you know, shit on the faces of the guys who were like, oh, it's working as intended. There's nothing wrong. You have to be toxic. Literally, the devs say that there was, there was something wrong. And because of that issue, they... You know fix the behavior score of the people who lost unfairly this is literally a proof by the developers that i was right and the people who were saying that there was something wrong they were right 
if that something that was wrong completely fixed or they just repaired the damage it needs to be fixed not 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 repaired if they just repaired the damage it will break again they need to replace it reconfigure it or rethink it the the things that are behind the scenes that makes th these things happen or they can do the obvious things to not make reports infinite or uh, let let you have more behavior score gain per match just for completing regardless if you report it or not because you will definitely be reported once any everyone has the ability to report you need to think of of that very closely uh, but i'm glad it didn't take that much long it took one day for this to happen so that is good uh one and a half day almost two days right i think it's more than two days i'm just uh, lost track of time of really need some sleep so anyways guys uh i'm done for now i will keep you guys updated so again the tips i gave you i'm just going to summarize again one more time so you guys understand that you have to be positive you have to comment everyone you don't have to report anyone right do not report anyone just don't do it until you're at a substantial amount of behavior score at least seven thousand not even 6,000. Once you have 7,000 and you have 1,000 to spare, then you can do it. And only do it who you think that really deserves report. You know, there are people who would ping your abil abilities and stuff like that. You don't, you shouldn't report them. Just mute them in the game. Do you understand? Do not report them. Do not abuse the reporting system because it is highly toxic, as I said. The, the report system itself is very toxic, so it is not good for your health too. It's not good for the guy receiving it. It's not good for the guy giving it. So just don't do that because that's the one change that I did. And also if you're uh, below 1k behavior score, then uh, sorry, if you're near one single digit behavior score, then just you should just abandon and then uh, play single draft games. So I'm going to try playing single draft games uh, without being in low prior. Of course, people have the ability to report, but maybe they will not. So far, I've noticed a lot of people commenting in turbo and unrank as well, which means, as I said, you cannot report the person you commend and if they're able to commend you it means that they haven't reported you so it is pretty cool i think there's a shift in people even in this behavior score and not this actually it was 300 something so i'm happy i'm happy they made the change i went on so long rants on the video as well and i still did right now as well but i think it was necessary and a lot of things just came into my mind when i was thinking about the game so yeah, I hope it gets better. I want to see the best for Dota and the players who play. If you guys don't want to play it anymore, it's up to you. Don't do it. I'm not like promoting it for no reason. But if you want to do it, you can give it one more try and see how it works for you. Because I'm also giving it a try, right? And we're going to see if we can reach. Because we're really, really close to getting back to rank again. So once we get to rank, I, whatever role I'm playing, I'm going to just try to do my best at it. And also, um, you know, try to not express too harshly, especially if someone is wrong. And I think that is the... And, you know, when I'm thinking of things like that, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who's thinking these things. I'm sure everyone got the message and everyone would be... Try to be more careful for their own sake. Not for anybody else. For their own sake. Otherwise, they're going to lose the ability to play rank. And I think that's fair because this will greatly increase the quality of the games. You need to understand that. I hit it on the report system itself. The reporting would take a lot of behavior score out. That and infinite reports. I did not hit for the punishments. These punishments are fair. If the report system is working properly, these punishments are fair. Why? Because they would, they are the privileges they are the privileges that you need to play the game properly these are the fundamentals that you need if you don't have them your experience is really really bad and imagine not having the access to play rank almost everyone just plays rank and then there are some people who play turbo and then there's even less people who play all pick and they're even less player um playing ability draft or modes like that or custom games or whatever but yeah i'm just i'm just making stats up but is this what i assume right so yeah don't take it too seriously so guys be happy and you know give, give give the game try maybe you're you will be surprised i'm curious let me know if your behavior score increased from what it was before 
because I'm hoping the best for you guys. I read the comments and I was pretty sad that so many players just experienced this and it was so bad for so many people. I just felt really bad and there was nothing that I could do about it except ranting. I did a lot of rants and that video itself was a big rant and explanation as well. So yeah, I'm not used to making videos like this, um, but I tried. I did go on a lot of rants, but it is to be expected. I guess. Unless I cut everything out, which I will not. I am just leaving this all in. Anyways, guys, this was a pretty cool update and I hope that they can actually fix and adjust this thing. So in the future, it will not happen again. And if this doesn't happen, if the reports are not uh, abused and the abuse reports do not take your behavior score, this will the system is a game changer overall for your rank games and for, for your Dota experience. And I would love that because it's been many years that this was coming, but it never came. But now it is. And I'm here. I'm here for it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like and subscribe. You can also join the Discord if you wish to. And as always, guys, take care of yourself. Never give up. Have yourself a damn good one. Peace.